COVID-19 survivors are keen to get their vaccine shot to further boost their immunity after stressful experiences fighting the virus. From today, they can register for the vaccination. They'll only need one jab, and experts say that this will help to optimize limited vaccine supplies. Li Ling tells us more. 41-year-old Violet Slim survived her COVID-19 infection in April last year with only mild symptoms. But the experience has taught her to make health and safety a priority. She's been eagerly waiting for a vaccination slot. And as someone who's recovered from the infection more than six months ago, she'll get priority. After going through all of the different stress and all the uh, challenges that we have, even though um, physically we didn't go through a lot, but I think just emotionally, psychologically, I think we really do not want that to happen again. 53-year-old Hugh Mason witnessed how the disease has taken a toll on his wife long after her discharge. While he's recovered and generally healthy, she suffers from what's known as long COVID, or the lasting effects of the infection. For her, every few weeks, she'll have a few days when she's incredibly tired the whole time, almost cannot get out of bed. I would strongly recommend don't get this disease if you can avoid it, really. Better take that vaccine, for sure. Given that recovered patients like Violet and Hugh still have some immunity to COVID-19, they will only need one jab. An expert says this will help prioritise scarce resources. And right now, we have a shortage of vaccine uh, supply uh, internationally and globally, right? So any nation, especially the nations with uh, large numbers of infected individuals, so if we can give them one jab instead of two, that will be a substantial saving, uh, uh, you know, nationally and internationally. It's very likely that COVID-19 is here to stay and Singaporeans have to live with the virus in their midst. It means that beyond this year's vaccination, people may have to get booster jabs from time to time. Authorities are still studying the issue, but experts say more information is needed before decisions can be made. Yeah, whether the booster shot has to be the same as the primary, we call the priming shot, the data would suggest that to say you can mix and match. This may actually be uh, advantages. The science is not conclusive yet. And one hypothesis is that, uh, you know, when your body's immune system sees anything foreign, you know, and then if there's a slight difference, they fight harder. To date, about 44% of Singapore's population have received at least one dose of the vaccine.